So recently, I just bought this new protein with Russell Westbrook, the whey protein. I was using the vegan protein last, and I bought this what's a Westbrook protein. You know, me and him the same person. But I got a lot to you. I got to be honest with y'all, bro. This nasty ass protein, like some of the nastiest protein I ever drank in my life. I think I'm gonna go back to the vegan. I wasn't getting too much results. That's the reason I switched, but. I'm gonna test this out, but if y'all really want some nasty protein, just go get this vanilla cream with Russ on the front. So, with that being said, since we talking about basketball, I got a treat for y'all today. We actually gonna be doing the Stefan Marbury workout. It's a workout I planned out after watching the documentary that just appeared on Netflix. It's gonna incorporate a lot of jump rope, a lot of plyometrics, and a lot of stadium stairs. That's the plan. So, now that I'm done with that, Nasty shake. I do get to balance it out with a nice orange. Let's go ahead and get to this workout video. All right, y'all. So today we got the Steph on Marbury workout. I created this workout based on the Netflix documentary, A Kid from Coney Island. Now, when y'all watch the Netflix documentary, better yet, do that. Make sure y'all do that because the documentary live as hell. You'll see that this man was next level. Grade A just bred for to be in the NBA. He worked super hard, bro. His work ethic was insane. He did a lot of his workouts in the project. He didn't have all that fancy equipment like a lot of us had access to today. He did all this with just things he found around the house. So he jump rope, extension cord. Running upstairs, he did that in the project. And his mother and his older brother just pushing to do push-ups and sit-ups all day. So with the first round of our workout, it's gonna be based completely off the documentary itself. All you're gonna need is to find you an area where you can run up the stairs and get you a jump rope. I got my jump rope for $5 at Target. It was like a nine inch jump rope. You can get it anywhere. You can get you a cheap jump rope. And if you can't afford that, shit, get your ass at an extension cord and get a jump just like he did. No excuses. If you need a place to run up the stairs, if you got stairs in your house, then boom, just use those. If you live in an apartment complex, you can go outside and run on the, the apartment stairs out there. If you don't know where else to go, you can just go to any place like I did, pull up anywhere that got stairs, and you can reuse that. It's stadiums, anything. The good thing about this workout, anybody can do it. Keep your feet pointed towards the sky. You want to just bound, 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 bound. You want to go as high as you can for the first 30 seconds. And you want to do mini bunny hops for the last 30 seconds. Then we right back to that jump rope. Get the jump rope two minutes on. I actually try to push myself by doing single leg this time. So you want to do one minute left foot, one minute right foot. And then after you get through with that, we right to ski jump. Set you up two cones. If you don't got cones, cool, it's all right. You don't need the cone. And if you really want to push yourself, you can actually add a medicine ball. As you can see, you just bound in left, landing on one foot, hit the other foot behind you, explode off the other foot, go to the other side, land softly, try to control, try to keep your balance in your core tight. And then finally, to end every one of our workouts and says, we're gonna go right back to that jump rope. Two minutes on, hard as you can, push through. I know you're gonna be tired, but hey man, push through, it's gonna be worth it.
All right, y'all, for the last round, we got three more workouts. And then we're gonna end it off with a little jump rope grind. So the, the first workout, I don't know where I found this workout. I found it on YouTube probably like three or four years ago, but I've been doing it ever since. You wanna start with your arms up in the air. You wanna sit on your knees, start with your arms up in the air. You wanna bring them down, slow down. And then you wanna slow back up, using that momentum to drive your knees off the ground. As soon as you get your feet on the touch the ground, you wanna explode up as high as you can. And then you just keep repeating the process, y'all. You just get as high as you can each and every jump. It's more like a little burnout. You can definitely gonna be able to tell, feel the difference in your explosion. Try to keep your core tight in every workout we do, y'all. The second workout is lunges. Now, if you have a weight, as you see, you stick one arm over, one arm out, and lunge deep as you can. This is gonna work on your core and your balance. And finally, y'all, we got sit-ups with medicine ball. If you don't have a medicine ball, it's not a big deal. Just keep doing, do a full burnout with sit-ups as much as you can. I did sit-ups to push press. Hit the sit-up, push the ball as high as you can, come back down. And y'all, to end the video and end the whole workout, we got a three minute grind on the jump rope. Go dig deep, finish strong, and then you done for the day, bro. When I think about Stephon Marbury, y'all, it kind of made me feel about, <laughs> it bring me back when he had them shoes, bro. I ain't gonna lie, them was some ugly ass shoes, but I remember this girl came up to me <laughs> and she said, TA, I know how much your shoes cost. I was like, you do? And she was like, yeah, I know where you got them from too. I was like, man, damn. It was kind of embarrassing because at the time, everybody was picking on me about it. They was like, hey, you gotta have some expensive shoes. It just showed how bad kids were back in the day, bro. We was, we was horrible. But anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed the workout. I'm gonna have way more athletes in the workouts. I love doing these challenges. So, so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment what athlete you want me to do next. Me and Giannis, uh, Michael Jordan, uh, hell, football players. Now, I don't know nothing about hockey, but hockey players. I don't care. Tennis players. Just throw up some athletes out there. All right, y'all. Catch y'all next time. Peace out.